Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese and welcome to this episode of the Ellison Education video series. Do your students understand why a half an hour is 30 minutes and a half a dollar is 50 cents? When I was teaching, I had kids who had a really difficult time understanding why a half wasn't the same. And that's why it's important, I think, for them to realize that anything can be broken into fractional pieces. So we're going to look today at fraction triangles because it makes it great to be able to compare with fraction circles, which is what you're most used to seeing with fractional pieces and even fraction squares. This is a six die set. So you can see that there's the whole, there's also halves, uh, the triangle can be broken into thirds. Here it is as fourths. And then this one is sixth. And the final one is eighth. But what's important, as I said, is for them to understand that if we use this as an example, a triangle broken into fourths would look like this. And of course, you can talk about equilateral triangles, tetrahedron, all those things would apply, which is cool. But compare it to something like fraction circles so that they can see this is a fourth of this whole. It isn't the same as this, but it matters that it breaks up evenly and it helps them understand the concept of fraction. The same thing with this is one way of expressing fourths out of a square. And this looks completely different than the fourths that you see here. So this will really, I believe, help them understand why a half a dollar is 50 cents, a half an hour is 30 minutes, but they're both still halves. You know, when you compare fraction triangles to fraction circles or fraction squares, I think it really is going to help your students better understand that fractional halves, thirds, fourths, they're all relative to the shape that they describe. 